MIG Welding Aluminum Without a Spool Gun MIG welding aluminum can be a frustrating experience. We recommend the use of a spool gun to make it go smoother. However, a spool gun is not always an option. Here are some tips for welding aluminum when a spool gun cannot be used. Shielding Gas MIG welding of aluminum requires the use of pure argon gas. If you're used to MIG welding on steel, the shielding gas you're using is either an argon CO2 mix or straight CO2. For MIG welding aluminum, you'll need pure argon gas. Welding Wire Alloys There are two common aluminum alloys available for welding aluminum. The most popular is an alloy called 4043. This wire flows well and provides the best overall looking weld bead. However, this wire is softer and has a harder time feeding. If you're not using a spool gun, we'd like to suggest using the alloy 5356 for better feedability. Contact tip sizing. Many times when welding aluminum, you get everything set right and start welding only to have a feeding problem in the middle of the weld. This can occur because the heat from the weld will make the aluminum wire expand slightly. As a result, it may get caught in the contact tip. A good technique to minimize this is to use one contact tip size larger. For example, if you're using an 030 wire, try using an 035 contact tip. Keep your gun straight. The shortest and smoothest route between two points is a straight line. Keep your gun straight to improve how smooth the aluminum wire feeds. Drive roll tension. Even after taking all the above steps, you may have feeding issues from time to time. Most likely the issue will occur at or near the contact tip. However, the mess will occur in the feeder. This is called bird nesting. This mess can be minimized when properly adjusting the drive roll pressure so that the drive roll slips when feeding is blocked. Apply only enough drive roll pressure so the wire feeds. If set correctly, when applying back pressure to the wire, the drive roll continues to turn, but the wire slips. Torch position and travel direction. For a good, clean weld when welding aluminum, torch positions and travel directions are critical. Your torch needs to point in the direction you want to weld, and then you need to push the gun down the weld joint, as in this example. The result is a nice clean weld with minimal post-weld cleaning. This is an example of how the bead looks if you incorrectly used a drag technique rather than a push technique. 